Watching here is improvised. Nothing is scripted. You've heard of him. You've read the stories. The elusive Florida man. But who is America's next top Florida man? Judging with me today is actual Florida man, Spencer Agnew. I lived in Florida for uh, 21 years. Wow. <laughs> Let us meet our contestants. All right, hi, uh, my name's Billy. I'm from, uh, I'm from Port St. Lucie. Uh, I like to go out uh, on, the, on the canal, you know, just like, you know, that's, that's, about, that's about all I got. Uh, how are you guys today? You feeling good? I'm feeling okay. Thank you, Billy. Yeah, how are you? Oh, uh, I'm Lucy and I'm from Port Lauderdale. And my feet are always open. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is uh, Walt Daddy. I live uh, up in Northern Florida. I like to call it Cotton Hill, Florida. I uh, like my fan boat. I like the bayou. And uh, I like Waffle Houses. It's got my vote. <laughs> <laughs> Our Florida men will be facing three challenges. First, the catwalk. Second, acting challenge. And three, the big question. Let's get right into the first challenge, the catwalk. Each of you will take turns taking this catwalk, walking up to the camera, striking your pose, give me a battle cry, a catchphrase, something. Go back to your spot and then tell us about why you are the way that you are. I'm having an identity crisis right now. <laughs> Do you want a quick geography lesson? So there's Miami, which is... I don't know where I'm from. I'm dressed like this, but like, honestly, I'm you from Miami. <laughs> You're giving me like where I'm from vibes. Okay. All right, I'll do that. <laughs> yeah, panhandle vibes. But yeah. I love clubbing yeah. till 5 a.m. Then you're from Miami. Yeah. But why am I dressed like this? <laughs> <laughs> you go back and forth. All you do is take your big rig back and forth from the north to the yeah, south. You're you're uh... He's scaring me. Number one, Billy. Wow. Yeah. That felt racist. <laughs> <laughs> I know not overtly, but like the undertone was there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Explain to us, uh, what made you decide to roll out of bed today in this? Uh, well, what, you know, what doesn't make me roll out of bed? Um, basically, <laughs> I've got my wife beater, which I wear all the time. I think I've had this on for about a week and a half. I uh, woke up this morning, stared at the sun and thought, hmm, I'm here all day, every day, and I do, don't do anything at all. So I went, put ahead, uh, go, went, uh, went ahead and put on this shirt here. How do you, if I were to show you a picture of Rick Scott, what would you say? He's done a lot for Florida. <laughs> okay, this guy, this guy checks out. Oh, and the sandals are uh, inspired by Rick Scott. Nice. Lucy, whenever you're ready. Yeah. <laughs> That's gout right there. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, maybe the problem is she's got no knees. Mm, just like from King of the Hill. Like I didn't know what was happening, which feels accurate. <laughs> so what what led you to this get up today? Is this what is what does it say about you? Well, um, from the pan state pan handles, and um, I'm from there, and I belong there. <sighs> no, I have something else to say. Okay, please do, Lucy. I'm not from, I am not from Miami. I am from the other part of Florida. The polar opposite, the panhandle. I, Did you like go to college in Miami or something? U of M? U of M. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lucy. Thank you. Okay, Walt Daddy. Mm-hmm. Whenever you're ready. I, I could smell the sweat and testosterone coming off yeah. of him. That's just deer piss. I wear it in order to keep the Panthers away. Well, Daddy, describe what this outfit says about you. Why you choose to wear this on a day like today? Well, I wear this outfit every single day. I've got 14 different of the exact same piece of each of these leather pants. I've got the t-shirt uh, and also the vest. Uh, I wear this every day to work and to play. Uh, what this says to the people around me is not only am I a good time, but I'm a hard time. I don't want you to f with me because you f with me, and uh, I'll show you what this golden glove does. Now, I understand you you operate amusement park rides? Kind of. I call them amusement park rides, but really it's just my fan boat without seat belts. Thank you, Walt Daddy. Now that you guys have all shown us what you've got, we are going to rate you out of uh. 10. Billy, that walk you gave us really sold the vibe. 
And your energy, I just, I really like it. I like this kind of Florida man. Thanks a lot, yeah. I, well, yeah. I give you seven points out of 10. Oh, hey, cool, that's pretty good. Oh. Infinity boy. Infinity sign, turn it around. I actually have that tattooed on my back. So you are from Miami. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> Lucy. Hi. Your look and your walk was very intriguing. I've never seen this kind of a Florida person before, but this makes me want to go there and see more. Thank you, I'll show you more. Okay, your identity crisis is a, is a little alarming to me, so yeah. I gave you a six out of 10. Okay. The unpredictability was a big winner for me because okay. you know you never know what you're gonna get. Unpredictable is, yeah. the, is, the, is the word of the day, and so you know for that, I'm gonna give you an eight. Wow. Nice. Turn that around and it's another infinity sign, yeah. It's an eight, it's still an eight. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Walt Daddy. Yep. I love what you've got going on. You got confidence, you exude testosterone and don't cross me energy. You look like you've got tobacco in your gums, but I can't tell if you actually do. Nope, the tobacco is my gums now. I mold <laughs> it every morning so I can still chew. I gave you eight out of 10. Wow. Thank you, thank you. Oh, I wanna hear about this. I heard two marker squeaks. I, that's a seven. I think it's a double zero I'm about to get. <laughs> seven. Now, Walt, this is hard for me. The riffraff combined with the Northern Florida vibes are throwing me a little bit. And I know I said unpredictability was working. For me, because I'm and hot. And Lucy's fair, because she's... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm going to have to give you a seven. All right, all right, I'll take that. Thank you very so much. So you know, we'll see what you do in the next I know it's rounds. very confusing. My stepfather is riffraff. A lot of people, it's very confusing. Your biological stepfather. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> Now let's move to the acting challenge where they're going to, uh, you know, give us their best story on why they're found on the news. So each contestant will have 60 seconds to tell the most compelling Florida man story that they can possibly muster to our uh, anchor woman, Courtney Miller. Yeah. And you will be rated depending on the uh, quality and believability of your story. Courtney Miller here today on Florida Weekly News on the scene. We're going to be speaking with Florida man Billy to hear what he has to say. Billy, what did you see here today? Wow, it was really crazy. Um, so I was out on my I was out on my boat. You won't believe this. I was out on my boat, um, and I, I, I heard something skin underneath the boat, right? And so I told my wife, "Get overboard!" So she goes underneath. What she found underneath? She found a dead body. Now this dead body. Wow, I have never seen something so freaking gross. Uh, but I put it on the boat, and then um, right after that, couldn't find my wife. Turns out. Dead body was my wife. Don't know how I got that confused, uh, but I went ahead and I, I brought it back to shore. Uh, then I couldn't find it, didn't know where it went. Turns out I buried it myself. Now, sometimes you, you lose track of stuff sometimes, you know, it's, 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 it's a wild place, but there was a lizard in my house and I caught that and I named it. Are you saying you killed your wife, sir? No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't say I went and killed my wife, no. Uh, there, there are certain rules and regulations that you gotta follow when you're out on the ocean, and, it's, and it is an, an unregulated space. You know, when you go out into the ocean, you can pretty much do anything you want. You know, that's why I smoke, smoke a little bit out there if you know what I'm talking about. Do you smoke a little I bit? I don't, thank you. All right, now you have a great day. All uh, right, that is you, time. Bob. <laughs> <clears throat> Courtney Miller here on the news today. It's Florida Weekly. Something crazy has happened today. We are here on the scene. We will be speaking today with Florida person Lucy. Lucy, please tell us what you saw here today. Am I telling you the true story or what they want me to say? Um, please, just tell us what you saw here today. Something very exciting, very very insane, I heard, happened here today. Do you know what that was? Um, I absolutely did not see anything. Everything in Florida is very normal. Um, everything here is really great, and everything is really hap happening. Just don't worry about it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Are you saying that nothing happened here on the scene today? Nothing is here and let's just let's just move on with your lives, okay? Are you being held hostage, Lucy? No. <laughs> no. All right, that's all the time we have. <laughs> Courtney Miller here on the scene today with Florida News Weekly. We are on the scene. I have Florida man Walt Daddy here to tell us what he saw today. Walt Daddy, what did you see? Well, I was filming the sky, which I normally do uh, often during the afternoon. I like to just see what kind of shapes are made up there because sometimes there's these fluffy things and sometimes I'll see faces or animals or it doesn't matter. I just know their messages from above and often someone's got to interpret them because who knows? I could be the prophet. You could be the prophet. We all could be a prophet. What the f Point is, is that I was on my fan boat, right? And I was going down the bayou like I normally do. I was on the river. I made a quick left, quick right. Before I knew it, I was in a bunch of cottontails, right? 
stuck in a cotton tails, what am I gonna do? So I gotta restart my fan boat, right? So here I am, chugga chugga chugga, chugga chugga chugga, chugga chugga. Before I know it, I hear a sound behind me, and if you don't know it, it is 12 alligators, all with their mouths open. Now, I've all I got is a Bowie knife, right? A Bowie knife, a slingshot. In my slingshot, I got a couple M80s, I like fireworks. So, of course, I do what any normal man would do. I immediately use the Bowie knife to cut off my left arm to use it as a distraction, right? In order to get away from the alligators. Now, running with my bleeding hand, I use the slingshot put M80s in it with my mouth, pull it back, and start shooting them up like flares, right? And that's how the forest fire started. That's all the time we have. <laughs> now we will judge all of our Florida people on their performance today. I was very pleasantly surprised. I loved all of that. Yes, I, I think there were some great tales. Billy. Yeah. I really enjoyed your story. I loved uh, the way you told it and how it's like very, you very clearly murdered your wife. I don't know about that. Okay. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna give you an eight. Thank you. Thank You're welcome. You very much. Well, are you free tonight? I'm free with no wife now. <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Later. Okay. All right. Okay, Billy. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say, great story. Yeah. Twists and turns. Mm. Fun little twist there at the end with the lizard. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Uh, and then when I saw you hit on her unprompted, that, that turned that turned everything around. I'm giving you a, a perfect. Well, are you looking for a new father? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Lucy, I loved your story. It was not what I was expecting. At first I thought you were like- you know, They're just... watching me. Okay, yeah, you're, yeah. you are on, under hostage. Um, not surprising. I really, I really enjoyed your story. I give you an eight out of 10. Thank you. I was torn. Uh, you know, at first I didn't understand the trajectory. I can hit story. on you if that's- No, that's okay. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I... I like your hair. So you're gaining a point with everything you say. I, I have a bathtub. <laughs> and it's empty. I have Gogurt? Oh, you're vibing too hard. Okay, uh, but then at the end, when you brought it home with the uh, kidnapping sub plot, getting kidnapped, so, so Florida. So Florida. So Florida. Mm -hmm. So what are you thinking? I'm thinking a seven. Oh. Okay, uh, what can I do to get maybe like a eight or a nine? We'll see how you do in the last round. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, Daddy, you blew me away. There were so many twists and turns and like decisions that I should have expected, but I didn't. I'm giving you a 10 out of 10. Thank you. Now your story, uh, you had me up to a certain point and that's when you uh, you mentioned you only had a knife. Uh, a Bowie knife. You weren't carrying a firearm with you. Well, I had a slingshot in M80s, but, but no, technically you, you are correct. All my person was not a firearm, but I have a good reason. I've got 12 warrants. That doesn't, that doesn't taste like Florida to me. No. Florida tastes oh. like having the warrants and still having the guns. Uh, can I have another point? She asked. <laughs> well, we had a seven, so that's an eight for that's an eight for Lucy. Uh, Walt, I'm gonna have to give you a five. I was, all right, I was. All right. That's all right. That's all right. It's all right. When you sleep, you're gonna be tasting gold. Oh, oh like he's always oh, gonna punch you in the my, glove. My, I, was... I lost my hand. Were you listening to me? <laughs> no, I heard it. I just, I got, I heard the I, one I detail. That's why he scored you really low. Is yeah. he probably wasn't listening to you. Mm -hmm. Do you want to show you? Do you want to show him? Do you want to go prove it to him that he should have been listening to us? Now I'm feeling really wild right now. Now if you want to go down there, we can go ahead and go down there. Now, now, now you're not going anywhere. <laughs> you stay right here. All right, guys, uh, stay on, stay on, stay on target. We're gonna move on to round three. For the final challenge, we will be asking each of these Florida men the ultimate question, which is, what makes you America's next top Florida man? Billy. Yeah. Do we have them walk up to the front thing? No, 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 sir, sir, <laughs> sir, please. Someone got a problem over here. Sir. Now listen here. Security. Each Florida man will have 30 seconds to answer this question. Billy, are you ready? Oh, as ready as I'll ever be. <laughs> what makes you America's next top Florida man? My liver is as fatty as it can be. Uh, one time I was in a Publix, <laughs> I'll never forget this, and uh, I punched everyone. <laughs> punched everyone in that Publix. Now that's something that I do on a daily basis to remind them who's boss. Now I'm gonna buy drinks for everyone at the end of this, so that's why I'm the best Florida man. Now cheers to Port St. Lucie, the place that's only worth driving through. All right, thank you, Billy. Yeah. Lucy, will you take position one? Lucy, what makes you America's Next Top Florida Man? Um, 
I married my dog. <laughs> my um, like to hunt squirrels. And <laughs> please get me out of here. I'm really scared. Walt, well, Daddy, please take your position. Okay, Walt, well, Daddy. Why don't we ask it together? Okay. Walt, well, Daddy. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> We're no Shane and Damien. We are not. <laughs> Walt, well, Daddy. Daddy. What, what makes, makes you Florida the America's next, next top, top Florida, Florida man? man? Well, thank you very much for the question, uh, both Madam and Mister. The reason why I'm the top Florida man, I've got a couple of reasons. Number one is I'm not only missing a hand, but this golden glove was forged from gold teeth that I took off of dead people. Uh, now, I didn't make the dead people, but I did find the dead people. Now, uh, more importantly than that, not only is my step uh, biological father Riff Raff, but my mother is a pawn shop. Now, uh, when your mother's a pawn shop, uh, there's a lot of different things that you learn. And uh, one of the things that I learned uh, with my mother being a pawn shop is uh, how to properly price antiques. And that's very important, very important. Uh, anyway, as a Florida man, I only take a fan boat and I only eat things that I kill myself with my truck on the highway. Roadkill dinner. Anyway. Spencer and I are going to deliberate and then we will be announcing the winner of America's Next Top Florida Man. This was a very close, close competition. I was, I was extremely surprised at the level of Florida that we saw today. So we have an envelope, one envelope, with a photograph. I can count. <laughs> Inside is a photograph of the winner of America's Next Top, top Florida, Florida man. man. America's Next Top Florida Man is... Ladies and gentlemen, Billy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! yeah! Thank you so much! Now if you see this, uh, you don't know who I am. Uh, this was taken, this was taken when I found my wife. Thank you so much. You guys are all great, you're all great. And, um, and you're, you're not going anywhere. Really. You're not going anywhere. Please, Willis, can I, I want to go back somewhere else. I don't want to be here. I can, I can smell the Florida on him. Thank you so much for watching this episode of America's Next Top Something. Let us know in the comments what other top something we should do. America's Next Top, literally give us your imagination. We will put these people back in their cages. But until then, you, we have two videos down here just for you to watch. And if you want us to make the Florida Man merch, well, we don't have it yet. But if you want to go to Smosh.com, check out what we do have. Oh my God. You'll see it there. Anything else to say, actual Florida Man? <laughs> okay.